when you are a beginner in electronics uh, you always want that the circuit that you make works of course that's not only valid for beginners but anyway uh, many beginners fail in electronics and then uh, uh, throw the whole the whole circuit away anyway uh, that's the reason why I made this circuit a typical beginner circuit a generator that generates frequencies between 40 Hertz and 20 kilohertz but of whatever kind um, that means that for instance here we see a certain waveform sorry a certain waveform on 40 Hertz uh, doesn't matter much how it looks like uh, for a beginner circuit it's the most interesting thing is that it works and that it gives out a wave and this circuit is completely based on that ID in fact we have here the classical a stable multivibrator two transistors but the second transistor here is a Darlington so it amplifies extremely and that makes that we can get this circuit can get it um, working in a quite big frequency range between say 40 Hertz and 20 kilohertz and again I don't talk about how the waveform looks like uh, the problem with a stable multivibrators is always that sometimes times they don't want to start when you add a voltage here for instance very slowly going from say 2 volts up to 18 volts it doesn't want to start so I've made here a start switch and with that start switch you can disconnect for a very short moment the power supply and start the whole circuit again I have to say I spent many many hours uh, in this circuit to avoid the start switch so in fact this start switch is not necessary in this circuit I've made uh, many kind of differences in the properties how the transistors are driven uh, about the frequency that the circuit this circuit always wants to start and that's very important the frequency is set by the value of these two capacitors this one and that one and here we see another capacitor that in fact bridges this one and you can see that there is an enormous difference between these two capacitors when we switch this in it is one microfarad uh, compared to 22 nanofarad here so 0 0.022 microfarad but also here we can switch in a one microfarad capacitor and when we switch this out the one microfarad capacitor the only capacitor that is plays a part in the frequency is this 10 nanofarad capacitor so enormous uh, incongruences between the two capacitors used in this circuit and that has a purpose because I wanted to make the circuit as easy as possible for everyone to make and at the same time generate some kind of frequency between this big uh, in this big frequency band 40 Hertz up to 20 kilohertz and of course with this potentiometer we can change the voltage to the first transistor in the a stable multivibrator and the second transistor we can give the Darlington or that one transistor more voltage that is also a very uh, big effect on the frequency so given all the um, incongruences 
in this circuit. It works. So let's look at the schematic first. Switch 1, that's here, sets the frequency. Of course, we switch in a new capacitor. Switch 2 does the same thing. You switch in the one microfarad capacitor. P1, that's this one, sets the frequency. P2 is very important. It's a differentiator circuit. And I want to show the waveforms with that by switching in this potentiometer we have here a differentiator circuit uh, that has substantial effects on how the wave look like, looks like and that is also to do with my aim to make um, a very simple circuit that can generate all kinds of waveforms. P4 is the output level. I have not made this part of the circuit so this is kind, um, kind of experimental. You can use 1K, 10K or 100K. That's my ID. Anyway, let's look at the circuit. This is the circuit in real. In fact, it's extremely simple. Here we see the Darlington BD139, BC547. Here we see the first transistor, the BC547. The um, potentiometer that sets the frequency. One switch that with which you can switch one of the two capacitors in the A stable multivibrator on or off. And here exactly the same. These big things are one microfarad capacitors that bridge small capacitors in the 10 nanofarad up to 22 nanofarad range. Here is the differentiator potentiometer and you can switch it on with this switch. So let's see what this circuit can bring to us. Works on 18 volts. Doesn't take much current. Lowest frequency that it generates 40 hertz at this waveform. I turn now the 10k potentiometer. It goes to 85 hertz. I turn now the um, 22k potentiometer. Goes to 242 hertz. Quite a good waveform. And I want to show now the effect of the differentiator. I switch it on now. And here you see that effect. That's a typical a typical effect that goes over all the frequencies between 40 Hz and 20 kHz, but because of the fact that I only use two capacitors, uh, it's often not very well visible. And there's often not exactly the same effect that we need. But anyway, it's a beginner circuit. And here you can see what happens when I change that differentiator potentiometer. I switch now more or less in a random way to this switch. I use this switch. That is this switch here. And you can suddenly see that we are on 24 kilohertz. Let's look at the waveform. Need some amplification. Waveform on 24 kilohertz. Quite good. Let's do the differentiator test again. Well, and now it stops. So that's the problem with the circuit. That's why you need the uh, start switch. Now it starts again. I've uh, disconnected the power supply for a very short moment. Anyway, one of the problems of this circuit. Change the potentiometer of, uh, say, uh, 22K again. 
the circuit goes back to 15 kilohertz. This is the waveform. Let's see what happens when we turn the uh, P3. It suddenly is generate 1.2 kilohertz. Let's look at the waveform. Well, okay. Um, that was that 10k potentiometer. 16 kilohertz. I turn now the 10k potentiometer. And now I want to uh, turn the 22k potentiometer to see what it can bring. It brings us that the circuit goes back to 3 kilohertz with this waveform. Let's try the differentiator circuit again. Well, the differentiator circuit was already switched on. Now the differentiator is switched off and we have this waveform. And let's try to go back to the lowest frequencies. This is 5.3 kilohertz. Think a useful waveform for beginners and for experiments. Um, now it switches more or less off, but there is still oscillation, so it works. And I want to get back to the lowest frequency that this circuit can make. Um, well, that takes some time. Can find my screwdriver. Um, okay. I hope this demo was more or less convincing. I want to go back to the circuit, want to show the circuit again. Try to get it into functioning again. Yes, I did the switch now. It doesn't oscillate now. That's a, oh well, it, it oscillates. Well, that confirms my all the time that I've spent in this circuit. So let's go back to the lowest frequency band. Eighty five hertz. Turn the ten K potentiometer now to the lowest frequency where it works forty hertz with this waveform. So anyway. I think it's a good circuit. It can help to do experiments. It can generate sounds. You can drive a transistor circuit with it. Drive, for instance, a high frequency transformer with a Darlington. There are many videos on my YouTube channel about that. Let's go back to the circuit, pan over somewhat. Pink connections, etc.